helper. Can you hear me? See me? Uh, let's see. How's everyone doing? Matt writes, fam, what is this about? It's, oh, Fermi, weren't you in here? Ugh, can't remember you. I shouldn't acknowledge. Uh, this is about me not uh, really doing a stream tonight, but also just coming by to say hi and bye. But um, I do remember. Well, we'll see. We'll see how people behave. Hi, everyone. Okay, everyone hears me. Great. So I'm uh, just stopping by to say hello. I decided that um, we should probably, uh, uh, oh God, I just got a terrible uh, tweet. What the hell? Oh yeah, I had seen it. I decided um, that, uh, you know, I just should take some time off. We took uh, we took a week off last, was it last week that we took a week off of um, Useful Idiots or was it the week before? I don't remember, but we took a week off of Useful Idiots and I decided I should take a week off. So I'm taking a week off, I guess. Um, wait, I have a hair stuck in. Okay. So, uh, but I just wanted to say hi. So I'm just saying hi. And uh, what else? Everyone good? There's a lot going uh, on in the world. And, you know, I want to sleep more. And uh, we all need a vacation says uh, Fermi Paradox. That's true. We all need vacations. Um, but yeah, I should do some, you know, I keep saying I should do watch parties. I could do a watch party. I wonder what, like, um, what's the word? Not common. What's the, what's the thing called? Uh, public domain films we could watch on YouTube or something if we want to do a watch party. That's not like on, whatchamacallit? That's not a uh, Twitch. And when you're on Twitch, that's good, but you have to do it. You're basically helping Amazon, I believe, which isn't good. We don't like that. So anyway, but I'm going to be doing more streams, obviously. And I'm going to be, I'm also going to be releasing some really good clips of things that I already um, taped, but not live. So you guys are going to be very happy about those. I don't want to give anything away. I'm just going to say you're going to be happy about them. And then hopefully I'll also get the guests who are on those pre-tape things. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get a live with them um, at some point. And um, what else? Take a week off. I have no idea you how you 24-7 people do it. True. That's true. Um, yeah, we are. Don't worry. We're not. We're going to. I hope we can reconvene. We could start with the radical self-care community that was beginning. There are no real rules. Here's your space. Thank you. Yeah, we are going to be doing more uh, radical self-care. In fact, I have, um, who do I have lined up? Remember Teresa? She's coming back, which is great. And I have someone who's going to do um, Tai Chi. Um, in fact, I have to call him. Someone else who does like flow with voice stuff. Um, who else? Maybe a uh, someone about... Uh, um, oh, Dave V. Kapoor says reading Gerald Horn class struggle in Hollywood 1930 50, 1950. Love to revisit some older works too that are feeling relevant. Yeah, um, uh, I don't know if Mr. Smith goes to Washington if it's public domain. Someone should go look it up, look up a bunch of movies. Yeah, flow. What else? Who else is coming on? Maybe someone to talk about eating. Um, what else? I started watching clickbait, by the way, and it's a, uh, it's a uh, really kind of good. I don't want to advertise for it, but um, it is good. It's crap, but it's good. Yeah, someone look up what type of um, what's the expression? Um, what is the expression? Public domain films. Well, I'm not. You know what? What would you guys say about? Um, uh, Gabor Mate, if he's not doing um, self-care, but just talking about politics, would you like that? Oh, yeah, the Lobby USA. That would be good. I just voted no, and I hate Newsom. Yeah, that's actually what... Um, um, oh, hi, Manny Reynoso. How are you? I have a friend from college named Manny Rosaldo, so I almost called you that. Um, 
what is the word on the recall? Uh, well, we'll be having, I'm not giving, I'm not giving it away, but I, we may do some, um, we may have some Gabor Mate clips at some point. I'm not giving anything away. We may have some Rose McGowan clips at some point, not giving it away. And we're definitely going to get more, um, definitely going to have more self-care stuff. Yeah. Taibi, we got to get Taibi on to, to do another, uh, especially in another live drinking game. Star Wars can't be public domain. Ooh, Battle of Algiers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jack Allison, we had a clip. In fact, maybe I'll release it this week. We had a nice clip with Jack Allison where he basically said that, you know, like the California, the recall was so bad that it made you actually support or if not support, not made you oppose the people running against Newsom. Um. Yeah, that was a great that was a great time, by the way, when when Jack was on and we talked about SK um, DK uh, Knickerbocker. And also when we talked about uh, Larry David and Alan Dershowitz. And if you guys missed that live, well, I clipped it for Patreon. Hold on a second. I'm going to I'm going to please. Huh? Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I should have muted on that one. Um. Mr. Halper, Katie's father was convicted. This is so weird. Okay, I'm blocking some weird troll. Wow, this is like a really weird troll. Sometimes you just get put right into blocked and there's no time out. Um, what a weirdo. Uh, okay. Oh my God, there's someone in here who's like sick. Why do I acknowledge them though? Let's see if I can, can I delete it from anyway? So I was just saying hi and yeah, someone should get a list of um, public domain films that we could watch because we could do that. We could spend time doing that. That would be fun, right? Uh, okay. All right, good. I, I deleted that person. Wow. I had a huge, there's a major bot in the chat tonight. The bot game, the, the troll game is strong. Like lots and lots and lots and lots of uh, messages at once. So maybe it's because I brought up clickbait. Um, is it really public domain? Let's see. Let's see. Is Metropolis public domain? Yeah, I don't know what the, what the deal is with these people. Um, Metropolis. Yeah, we should totally have watch parties. But yeah, today, again, I'm, I'm today's my is a day off. Basically, I'm just coming in to say hi and bye. Metropolis is a two and a, two hours long, so we probably can't do that. But it looks like it's public domain. That'll be good. Um, I've never seen that movie. Don't tell anyone. Does it have sound? This copy I found of it doesn't have sound. We're definitely going to want to watch it with sound. Or maybe I just don't have the sound set up correctly because I didn't select it. One of those twos. Network. Network can't be public domain. Um, anything else? Any questions? Paris is burning. We can't watch Paris is burning either. That's not public domain. Does anyone watch um, Babylon Berlin? I know it's old, but that's a really great show. M. I haven't seen M either. So those are both uh, Lang, Fritz Lang. Are they both? Uh, thanks. Great to see you. Oh, Joe Rogan had uh, COVID-19, right? Yeah. Didn't Joe Rogan talk about how, like, you need to be healthy and taking care of yourself? And if you're healthy and taking care of yourself, you maybe don't need the... Is he anti-vaccine? What's the deal with Rogan? I should know this before I actually talk about this. Um, Harris is burning his public domain. Oh, really? Paris is burning his public domain? Oh, we should watch that then. Huh. When am I hosting The View? I don't know. I tried to make it happen. We may still be able to make it happen maybe this weekend. I'm um, trying to make it happen. Um, Babylon, the 70s reggae movie is also good. Rogan took ivermectin. Is that true? Um, Kayla says, hi, Katie Helper. Well, I say hi, Kayla. Hi, Kayla. That's a Let's see. Where's Kayla says hi, Kate Albert. Thank you. Rogan is not anti-vax. Okay, what is he? Tell me, someone. 
he did he did have it right was he over I, let's see chelsea manning is going in on glenn greenwald is that true i need to see the receipts why am I hosting Jeopardy? Good question. I can't try to host Jeopardy because then they're going to find some stuff on me. So we took a cocktail of everything. All right. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I find, you know what I find? Okay. Where, um, is Phantom Asfanta here? Cause we got to get Caleb Maupin on in the Caleb Maupin. I keep thinking he's the guy who wrote that. Okay. I keep thinking Caleb Maupin is the guy who did the thing not sex in the city what's it? tales of the city but that's another caleb or another malpin or, or something um let's see am i following caleb malpin on twitter who's the guy i'm thinking of tales in the city tales of the city all right okay i'm following caleb malpin and he's following me um okay let's see um okay hi phantomus you got him on the list i think if someone hasn't that's an interesting question i think if someone hasn't taken the vaccine then by definition they are anti-vax which doesn't take away from some of his better work that's actually a good question if you live in a place where the vaccine is um oh <laughs> whoops armistead maupin is uh tales in the city okay thank you so if you live um if you live in a maupin Okay, Maupin. If you live in a place where, um, what's that about? Ch Greenwald was asking her for $10,000 for what? So if you live in a place, Chelsea says she's terrified of Glenn and everything he does. Okay, I don't know why. Uh, because he, he gets mad on Twitter. Uh, if you live in a place and it's easily, it, it's readily available, the vaccine, this is a good question. Are you, thank you, Tabeel, are you, what's the, what, what frequent, not frequency, what I told, um, uh, what's the currency is Z-A-R. Someone tell me what Z-A-R is. Okay. Okay. That's good. So he's not anti-vax because he promotes it for people who are most at, most at risk. Uh, someone else says isn't anti-vax, but he isn't pro-vax, so he's problematic. Oh, you're kidding, right? And must unplatform and self-deport. Actually, you know, I tried to get Matt Taibbi to, to try to pitch us to, to Rogan. It didn't work, but I got to release that video. It's a pretty funny clip. But here's the question. This is a good question. Does someone not getting the vaccine, is someone who doesn't get the vaccine an anti-vaxxer? That's a good question. Only take a vaccine if you are pro-vax. My unvaccinated patients are scared of needles or have other anxieties. They aren't anti-vax. Really? So, okay, is this, are you a doctor, Julie? I don't, that sounded like I was being confrontational and rhetorical, but that's interesting. You're a doctor? Are you, a, maybe you're not a doctor. It could be, you could be giving people, what's the thing called? Uh, Okay, get me on Rogan. That's that's the new campaign. We're gonna get me on the View and on Rogan. What is it? Acupun acupuncture? But no, it's not that. So your unvaccinated patients are scared of needles or have other anxieties. They aren't anti-vax. So if you're, are you an MD, Julie? And are you allowed to? I guess you can, right? So HIPAA means you can't tell us the names of your patients, but you can talk about your patients in general. Again, I'm not being. I I sound so. What's the word? Uh, uh cutting but i'm not i'm actually just being very i'm being totally um this is points of information i'm very i'm very curious about this really they're they're afraid of needles have have other anxieties that's interesting you're a nurse okay this is really interesting um yes generalizations are okay okay so we guys we're finding out this is actually fascinating so we're finding out about hipaa which i forget what it stands for but it's part of the hippocratic oath but it's all right, there's a pervert in the the thingy, and I just want to say, I don't know if someone abused you, but I'm gonna choose to have empathy for you and feel like there's something wrong with you instead of getting angry, and um, I'm just gonna ignore you. But I can't block. I keep blocking the person, and also not to help you with with your disgusting things about me. But my dad is not a Mister, 
he's an MD. So if you want to make something up, you got to call him doctor. I can't believe I'm helping my trolls. Okay. So Julie R is a nurse. That's really interesting. And they just say to you, this is why I haven't gotten vaccinated. So Julie, what do you think of the vaccine? Um, do you think like it should be, uh, how do you think people can be reached on this issue? I mean, I'm pro, I should say, I think people probably know this. I'm not, I'm not anti-vax. Um, well, no, but this is interesting. Someone is saying natural law. Yes, unvaccinated people are anti-vaxxers. There are no excuses reasonable anymore. More. But I think what Julie is saying, who's a nurse, she's saying some of her patients aren't now, whether or not that's reasonable to have that fear of needles or an anxiety, um, that's a kind of another issue. But it, but I'm not sure if it's, they just need more time. If it would help with data had healthcare before this. Yeah, this is true. I gave, I said this in a speech that I gave at, um, well, I wasn't there, so I recorded it, a Medicare for all speech, which is that, because a lot of the doctors said, um, wait, guys, I got the vaccine. I got the vaccine. I got it twice. Why are you saying I need to get it? I got it twice and I'll get the booster. Although we need to give it to people in other countries first. That's ridiculous. But, um, uh, what was I just, oh yeah. I said this when the speech in the, the recording that I did for the Medicare for all March, which is that, that doctor in Alabama said when she was asking people who weren't vaccinated, why they weren't vaccinated or if they asked their doctors about it um, and they said no, or if they had spoken to their primary health, primary care provider. And as Julie is pointing out, they just need more time. It would be helpful if they had healthcare before this. And that's true. Like you can't build a culture that believes in doctors or believes in medical advice. I shouldn't say this. I think something that gets in the way of trusting doctors is our very corrupt healthcare system which puts patients and doctors uh, at odds against each other uh, just because of the way that it works. Okay, guys, uh, someone who's good at technology needs to like figure out how to block someone. Uh, don't forget you were about to take a week off, it's true. But I can't believe that I'm a uh, block user. Wait, how is it that this person is like up in this, all right, hold on, block user, okay. I'll just ignore them. Oh, there's probably a, a way to actually, you can block words, right? I gotta do that, I gotta block words. Um, yeah, they keep setting up new profiles, right? Anyway, do you think we get some social Darwinism going on? Most anti-vaxxers are trump Republicans. so if COVID's going to kill anyone going forward, it's conserves. I don't really subscribe to that type of thinking because um, I don't believe in that stuff. I also think it's not like the, the right perspective to have if we're kind of like leftists or progressives or however we want to describe ourselves, because I don't believe that people who have bad politics should die. Uh, also, we have to be real about who's not getting vaccinated. It's kind of an uncomfortable truth and I it's an uncomfortable thing to talk about, but Various people have um, issues with vaccines for different reasons. And we do have a troubling history in this country of vaccinating. And the reason I'm like, I don't think that we need to be paranoid about the vaccine is it's like targeted vaccines are what are scary. These are, you know, the vaccine that, you know, Tuskegee uh, airmen, the Tuskegee experiments, those are scary uh, we know that like poor people and black people and especially have been, um, you know, uh, targeted and been given things that are, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. I need to go in and I'm not reading people. Yes, we have to meet people where they are and treat them like human beings for one thing. I think that's true. Yeah, I definitely think that's true. Um, how do I set up, uh, actually, you know what, how do I set it up? Uh, uh, independent left news. I'm going to email you so you can mod this because I would like to block certain words from the chat and I'm giving this away to, you know what? I'll just full screen it. That's all the, I'll full screen it. So I won't see anyone's comments, which is unfortunate. And then I'm letting the terrorists win. Um, Let's see. Um, 
You know, I'm very, I'm feeling very, uh, let's see, Joe Rogan, doorball, got gray. Thank you, Joe Rogan. What does this mean? I'm not sure what this means. Well, you're saying we can do that later, but I'm getting distracted because I'm trying to actually look at comments and there's this like disgusting person who keeps popping up. Um, nothing wrong with mRNA. Anyway. So I do think though, that if we had better health care, better medic, if we had Medicare for all, then we would have, um, more trust in their, in their medical professions. And we probably would have more people getting vaccinated. Um, oh, that's how you came to find us. Okay. Got it. Um, what else? I don't know if it's these trolls. It's just one troll. No, I block them. They keep changing their name. That's why I need someone to, yeah, let's just, I wish, you know what? The troll that's in here, show your face. Show your face. Let's see if you can show your face. If not, I'm going to guess you have, well, I, I was about to say, if not, I'm going to guess you have issues, but this guy clearly has issues. So, um, I wonder what, ha like, what do we think? Do we think this person, uh, is a, like, a, a pedophile himself? Do we think that he was harmed by someone? Do we think they just don't like my politics? Are they, um, like, do, are they offended by the Palestine stuff? I do, I do wonder. Um, it's for the lols. No, it's very funny. I'm not trying to feed the troll. I'm trying to actually look at the comments and then that keeps coming up. So PSYOP, what else? Show your issues. Yeah. Um, you can really, let's see. Um, I think they're Charlie, Charlie Kirk trolls. That could be, that could be true. What's WBBC? A uh, Westboro Baptist. Is that what it is? Um, all right. Well, okay. They are, it's working. They're distracting me first. So what's the real conversation? I was very interested in what Julie had to say. All right. I also, you guys can stop giving me advice framed as like first mistake. I don't know how many times I've said this. Why am I responding to this person? Hi, Katie. Best wishes from the UK where everything is rosy. Okay. That's nice. Um, let's see. Yeah, you can't reason with trolls. All right, I'll just ignore them. But do you understand why I'm seeing them? Is because, all right, I'm making this full screen. So someone should, you know what? Uh, independent left, why don't you tell me what good, some good comments are? Um, okay. Uh, can you speak to the mandate issue? I'm all about mandates. I mean, I am. What's, uh, what's, What's what's wrong with m mandates? You mean the mask mandate? I'm I'm for the mask mandate. I think we should err on the side of uh, we should err on the side of caution. Um, ooh, I would love to get wait, I would love to get uh, uh, Corre on the show. Why aren't I wearing a mask right now? Is that a troll question? or not. Here's the thing. I'm not wearing a mask right now because I'm, uh, in my own apartment and, uh, I'm, uh, that's, that's how you do it. I'm not surrounded by other people. Yeah. But that was a good own. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. Someone's saying, "Can am I vaxxed right now? Yes, I'm vaxxed right now. I mean, I don't know what the expiration date is, but I am vaxxed. What source can you cite that confident that gives you confidence that masks don't actually work? Uh, I uh, listened to... Actually, I'm going to have a doctor on the show. Uh, a, a doctor in particular. I don't want to say... He, he's been on the show before. It's not my dad. But... Um, so is it, what are you suggesting like that all the this that there are no studies that say that masks help with the with covid 
Let's see. Well, Fox News just published something, which I don't usually cite, but two hours ago. Let's see. It's kind of funny to click on this and I get a photo of Laura Ingram. A new study that examined the effects of mask wearing um, on the spread of COVID-19 found that even partial adoption helps to limit the spread. The study led by researchers at, wait for it, Stanford Medicine and Yale University. I don't know what Stanford Med is it Stanford Medicine University? That's anyway. And Yale University was a large scale randomized trial using 350,000 people from 600 villages in rural Bangladesh. Those living in villages were randomly assigned a number of interventions to promote the use of masks. Researchers found that those living in the villages, such with such interventions were around 11% less likely to develop COVID-19 than those who did not. The effectiveness increased to nearly 35% for people over 60 years old, according to Stanford Medicine. Our study is the first randomized control trial exploring whether facial masking prevents COVID-19 transmission at the community level, said Ashley Stuck. Stakniski, one of the lead authors and an infectious disease fellow at Stanford. It's notable that even though fewer than 50% of the people in the intervention villages wore masks in public spaces, we still saw significant risk reduction in symptomatic COVID-19 in these communities, particularly in elderly, more vulnerable people. The study also looked at the effect of using cloth instead of surgical masks. Cloth masks did reduce the overall likelihood of experiencing symptoms of respiratory illness, but it was not as effective as using a surgical mask. So when they say cloth, do they mean like pieces of cloth or they mean cloth masks as in non-surgical? Quote, uh, we saw an opportunity to better understand the effect of masks, which can be a very important way for people in low resource areas to protect themselves while they wait for vaccines, said Laura Kwong, a former postdoctoral scholar at Stanford and assistant professor at the University of California, Berkeley. So we collaborated with behavioral scientists, economists, public health experts, and religious figures to design ways to promote mask use at a community level. The study paired the 600 villages, assigning one with mass distribution and some promotion of policy, which involved notable Bangladeshi figures, such as the prime minister, a star cricket player, and an imam wearing masks and explaining why wearing masks was important. Additionally, individuals not wearing masks nor social distancing were regularly reminded to do so. You see, this is why we can't shit on people who don't do what we think is the right thing to do because it's the power of persuasion. That's me. I'm looking away from the screen. That's me showing that I'm talking myself. I'm not reading the article. Back to the article. In villages without these interventions, around 13% of people wore masks properly compared to 42% in villages with the guidance. Interesting. Social distancing, social distancing only slightly improved with 24.1% in the control villages versus 29.2% in the intervention villages. This is statistically significant and we believe probably a, a low estimate of effectiveness of surgical masks in community settings, Stikzinski said. All right, so that is the answer to the question that I was asked. What evidence? I say a Stanford medical study. Um, so there you go. Uh, uh, the flooding was scary, um, but I was okay. Um, Wait, uh, does anyone think I, I'm getting some comments? I want to make sure. Does anyone think I'm I'm saying anything critical of masks? The person just said that you were triggered, Katie. Lol, it's not worth your time. I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is that someone asked about masks. I read an article that just came out, and I don't get why people. Uh, oh, okay. I don't get why people are are so upset by masks. Like. I don't understand. What is it they're trying to do? What's the big, like, what's the man, the government trying to do? Make us, like, what? what what's, what's big mask? Like, I don't even get it. Like, I get the big, I get the vaccine thing, which, again, I'm like, I, I think you should get vaccinated. 
but I don't get right after I said we should try to persuade people. I don't get big mask phobia. Like, what is the mask thing? What is the big mask? What's the big lobby? The big mask lobby. That's what I don't know. Uh, I don't like wearing masks, as in they're kind of like uncomfortable. A frightened populace is easy easy to control. You don't think we have stuff to be frightened about without the masks? It's about blind obedience. Give me a fucking break, guys. Give me a break. The government's bad. Corporations are bad. They do shit like this all the time. This is really not, this is this is the hill you die on wearing a fucking mask during a pandemic. That's just stupid. Do you also not want to wear a seatbelt? Is wearing a seatbelt letting the man win? Is that instilling fear? Like, okay, I think you should get vaccinated, but I kind of respect this. I won't get vaxxed, but I definitely wear a mask in public because I'm not an a-hole. Yeah. Like, seriously, get over your, Like, I don't get the maskophobia. Question everything? Okay. Here's your break. What's Katie did a double CK? Yeah. I don't get it. Does any... Can, I'm not even going to... Okay, the first time I gave this person, like, the benefit of the doubt that they were just not smart when they said, why aren't you wearing a mask? But everyone understands that I'm in my apartment and that's why I'm not wearing a mask. So, uh, yeah. Did do an episode on how politics, but that really is, come on. Like that is stupid. What the hell is the mask thing? Big mask, big what mask? There's big pharma, okay. But what's the big mask thing? No, they're not just a troll, Katie. I mean, see, lots of people think masks are useless. So I'm just asking, why not err on the side of, of uh, caution? And guys, okay, trolls are annoying, but you know what else is annoying? People who like unnecessarily tell me not to feed the trolls when I'm responding to something like, guys, guess what, guys? The whole mask thing, sadly, that's not a trolling issue. There are people upset about it. So I'm responding to that. Okay? Thank you. Yeah, what the hell? I think it's fabricated and clueless righteous indignation myself. I think that I think that people are uh I don't want to totally crap on people because I get it that people are angry, it's annoying, it's it's and what's true, uh what it's what's true is that it is a little weird because like we should have been paying people to stay home, all that stuff. But um yeah. And again, oh, that's interesting. Set chat limit timer to five seconds. It will stop heavy troll spamming. Okay, I will do that. Um. Yeah, have I worn a mask for eight hours? No, no, I haven't. I'm totally lucky, and I think that sucks. That must really, really suck. But, um. Yeah. So wait, the MSM has reported, hold on, let's, I'm just going to, I'm going to engage this chat. The MSM has reported on both sides of this argument in Canada. I don't see your point. My point, you're talking about masks? Like you're saying that there's been good, is, is your point propaganda live that there's some evidence that masks work and some evidence that masks don't work? What, what do you mean? What's the both sides thing? Um, just let me know. Okay. So let's say that's true. So you're saying there's, I don't think there's evidence that saying masks give people more COVID, right? It's whether or not they're effective. Am I right? So given that there's reporting on both sides and there's a chance that we can save people's lives, I'm going to err on the side of that. I just don't see, I don't think it's that deep. I don't think it's that deep. Both sides on the mask being effective for COVID. What do you mean? Um, I've heard many people say that they feel the mask takes away our humanity. Well, what if you, like, okay, let's just say that's, that's a kind of hard thing to measure. But let's say there's something to that. Is there... If this does help limit COVID and evidence suggests that it is, then is it not worth doing that for the sake of other people? Like, I kind of feel like it's a bit of a privilege to say, like, my humanity is taken away 
because what about people away? <laughs> yeah, death takes away humanity more. Like I'm, I, I do think that we're there's a bit of a like guy who just got into co just like showed up in his freshman class of philosophy vibe energy that happens sometimes when this discussion like yeah they're making us complacent they're making us compliant they're making us they're taking away our humanity yeah blind obedience what's next it's like what's next i don't know what's next i don't i don't see there's not like a slippery slope between wearing masks and uh things yeah okay some say masks are good some say they're bad so obviously you err on the side of life to kind of like reappropriate that term from weird murderous people like george w bush oh my gosh it does not listen to COVID. okay so we're going there are two arguments one is maybe it limits COVID, maybe it doesn't uh and if there's a maybe then just do it the other is that it doesn't so i but i'm also gonna Okay, Shadowban Refugee. My autistic son was segregated for not wearing a mask. Now I have to homeschool and I'm a one income household. Well, that's, I think that they should be paying people to stay home. So that, yeah. But what I don't know, Shadowban Refugee, do you think that wearing a mask limits the spread of COVID? I'm curious if you, and if you do, what do you think about how this should be dealt with? Um, Uh, the reason pe why people get seriously ill and die of COVID is because of the number of viruses that are in the lungs. Masks prevent millions of viruses from being ingested at once. So that's good. Max, like I'm from Jersey. Um, life, Max, I'm, don't be an a-hole. Yeah, I, I, be I believe. Yeah, this is another thing. Okay, thank you. Th that That is their argument. It's a slippery slope if you accept um uh this form of social control what else will you accept erroneous because look at what we accept already again are seatbelts a form of control are seatbelts a way that the man controls us because i'm pro seatbelt i'm pro seatbelt i'm a paternalist i'm not gonna lie i'm pro seatbelt let's see joe steber writes i know this off topic but you should ask thomas frank about the new doc series he's in uncovering the fraud behind the 2008 financial crisis would be right up your and Matt's alley. It's called the con. Oh, cool. Where is it? I got to get Thomas Frank on. In fact, he should be um, on my show regularly, right? Would I take ivermectin? No, I would not take ivermectin. Traffic lights also. Yeah. Um, the problem is, to, let's see. Okay, again, where's the evidence for viral load theory? COVID test can't tell us this. So unless we know 100%, and I'm sure there are people in the chat who could answer this better, and I'm going to have a doctor on next week, but like, why not err on the side of not being a dick and put on a fucking mask? Like, because I don't think this person who said that knows for sure that it doesn't help. So just like, yeah, don't die on this hill. I'm only required to wear a seatbelt on public highways and not private property. There's a difference. Well, run around your own apartment without a mask. I don't care. What's what's the par the parallel here? School is public. Oh, you like a Walmart? You want the right to run around a Walmart without a mask on? Well, I don't understand why why does this have to be the like place where you express your your like angst? Why aren't you upset about paying your taxes to like to uh you know, to fund wars. Like, why don't you do that? If my doctor told me to take ivermectin, yeah, I would. If I had a, a good doctor who would, and, and there, if there was medical consensus around it, yes, I would. I would. Sorry. Err on the side of not being a dick. That's going to be, uh, yeah. Oh, I like this. Eating clam chowder and watching Katie slay people is bitching. I hope it's the white clam chowder. Which would be New England, right? 
I, as someone who is from Manhattan, I don't really like that the Manhattan one is the terrible one. Um, you imply conservatives are driven by reason rather than emotion. There is no reasoning with these people. Their pride manifests as militant ignorance. I didn't say anything about, cons I mean, I'm not willing to generalize conservatives being irrational or rational, but that's not actually, sir, that was not my response to you. I actually referred to the fact that it's not all conservatives who refuse vaccines. And I referred to Tuskegee and experiments. So that was my response. The question of reason versus emotion among conservatives is something else we can do. I will say, though, that there's a lot of emotionality among people who are liberal. And uh, when I say liberal, I don't mean left, obviously. We all have it, though. Let's not be. I used to think that way. I don't think that way anymore. Everyone's irrational. Look at Hillary people. All right. All right. So M for A now is in a timeout. Um, yeah. Um, all right. Anti-masker and anti -masker. Well, okay, I don't know what that means. Anti-maskers and anti-vaxxers are grotesque terms pushed by brainwashed people. I'm not sure. Why? Why is that a gr grotesque term? When people are, literally, people in the chat, they may not anti-mask identify, but they are anti-mask. Well, this is nice. Thank you for this. Ex-con. We will have to disagree, but I enjoyed the discussion. Have a good evening. I don't remember what we were disagreeing on, but um, what else? So, please debate 9-11 truth. Uh, let's see. Jill Stein did this. Yeah, right. But yeah, guys, come on. Let's uh let's get over the whole like I think we could there are other things that they make us do. Um I hate masks too. Wear your fucking mask, yeah. Yeah, this is a fair thing. I am vaccinated and I empathize with people who don't trust them enough to get them. I guess I empathize, but I also want them to get vaccinated. Uh, businesses have the right to refuse service. Oh, yeah. I mean, if it's about a mask or vaccine. Um, yeah, I'm concerned about childhood, emotional development, and masks in terms of being able to read and recognize emotions, but masks do save others from death seems completely rational. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's terrible for emotional development, like cell phones social media. Yeah, I don't want to mask up, but I do it. Yeah. Um, I wear a mask, no face, no case. There are worse things uh, than masks. I agree. And I don't like masks. They're uncomfortable. I don't like the, the way they are. Please talk about the left in the Spanish Civil War. Which books are good for an introduction? Oh, that's a good question. Well, that's a good question. And by the way, thank you, Joe Siebert. I will ask Thomas Frank about that. Hold on, let me take a screenshot so I remember this. Um, wait, what freaks me out is that our government is not concerned with the outbreak. And I wonder if the shot is connected to something sinister. Well, they're concerned. I mean, I think they're, that that is fair that the government should have done. This is actually an interesting question. It's like, it's in their self-interest to care about people to a certain degree, right? Um, but right. Like they would be, they should be fighting for Medicare for all. Um, well, this is such a stupid comment. What is the evidence for masks? I just read an entire study that came out. They're ineffective. Use and impose just to manage anxieties. I'm going to say that like, you don't have evidence for that, that they're ineffective full stop. I think that you probably need a more nuanced argument even if you want to make the anti-mask one i'm just doing you a favor and telling you that's a bad one um censorship is well this is kind of what i think honestly if it was sinister they give it to minority if yes i mean i do think that 
uh, that's what happens historically. When things are not good or when people don't know about them, then they do give it to the most marginalized and that's not what's happening. Uh, Katie, are you aware of the 24 year old Latino man murdered in NYC with his hands up by an off duty pig a few days ago? I don't like that term because I like pigs. Um, no, I'm not aware of that. So, um, yeah, that's terrible. I will look into that and, um, Vaccines weren't safe, and they wouldn't be keeping them away from poorer countries. That's true, too. If the vaccines weren't safe, they wouldn't be keeping them away from poorer countries, or if they weren't effective, right? Yeah. Um, um, okay. Oh my God, you should watch Yomni Parks. Oh, no, I'm not looking at that. That was a terrible thing. Um, all right. Well, guys, this was, uh, yeah, we're going to still try to get the left view. I'm trying to make it happen. This was great. Thanks for, this was my night off where I didn't, I didn't, um, uh, uh, yeah. This is my night off, my week off. I'll be back. Um, wait, someone, oh, so for Spanish Civil War, um, it's so complicated because there's so much, you know, I don't know, like, I like Paul Preston's book, but are you talking about like the left, like anarchists versus communists? Is that what you mean? Or do you mean um, a leftist view of the Spanish Civil War? Uh, let me know. Let me know what you think. Another view, alternative view is what I want to call it. Franco was a bad dude, yeah. All right. Isn't the left view sort of like the female panels, no Miki cons host on her show? I don't think so. I mean, I had a left view on this show, I would say. All right. Anarchist versus communist. So you want a good thing on that? Oh, damn. I wish my uncle were still alive. Um, let's see. I don't know. Let me come back to you with that because I don't want to give you the wrong advice. Um. I'll have someone else come and talk about that. I'll have a, that'll be a good debate. I'll have a debate about that. Um, it it is hard to trust anything in capitalism when everything is done in the name of profit. We mustered questions, I think, uh, and actions of our governments and institutions. We must ask questions. I'm guessing. I think that's true. Tankies murder anarchists. Okay, but. What do anarchists do? No, I didn't know that over 10K people have died from this vax. I don't know. You're going to have to show me an article on that. Um, all right, guys. Um, we mayonnaise question sometimes too. Yeah, that's true. All right, guys, I will see you definitely next week. And then maybe I'll see you on Sunday. And I will definitely see you with clips and all that jazz. Um, no, don't troll democracy now because they have really good stuff. And I've made this point and thrown this fit before. Uh, democracy now, I disagree with them on certain things. And they are also one of the best sources for news. So sorry. And also let me know when there are other places that like have as many shows and as much information as they do that they put out. All right, guys, I will see you uh, later. Um, I don't know what, what WTF is up with Glenn because I don't know the latest Glenn, Glenn thing. But I will see you. Um, uh, 
I will see you guys. Uh... Oh, enjoy your watermelon water. Also, and don't forget to breathe. I actually did some watermelon water. And yeah, guys, we're going to keep up the self-care. We got yoga coming up. We got breathing coming up. It's going to be great. Oh, please, if you want, please subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed to the Katie Helper Show, also subscribe to this Radical Self-Care if you want. Um, and, of course, you can become, please like these streams. And also, you can um, uh, become Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash the Katie Helper Show. Thank you very much. Um, thank you so much, uh, Phantom Asfanta. Thank you, Independent Left. And uh, I will see you guys soon.